Today we're going to be doing a very simple home workout that works out your butt and thighs. Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle and welcome back to Feeling Fat. Today we're going to be doing a very simple home workout that works out your butt and thighs. I know we can't really leave the house as often as we want to now because of the COVID situation but it's okay because you can keep fit and healthy while staying at home. This is a very very simple workout that you can do even if you have space constraints at home and it's not going to cause any difficulties for you. So get some workout gear on and let's get our legs working! So, for the first exercise, we have our speed squats. So, we are going to do 4 sets of 10 reps each side. And for this exercise, use any chair or stool of a suitable height and that's all you need. Squat as low as you can manage and come back up. Remember to squeeze your glutes at the top to make sure they are working. Between sets, you can go for a 15 to 30 seconds break, but don't rest for too long because your workout might not be as effective. Exercise number 2, we have our wall seats. So we're gonna do 3 of these for 1 minute each. It's best to do this weighted to give your legs that additional burn no one asked for but everyone loves. Also, who needs weights when you have boxes at home? Could be anything. Cans of 7up, random weights, a flip flop, <laughs> or that bag of rice you tried to store up. Next, we have our backward lunge into high knee position doing 4 sets of 10 reps on each side. Your back leg should be in a 90 degree angle as much as possible and shoot back up in your lunge into your high knee. Okay, for exercise number 4, we have our lateral squat walk. So for this one, we are doing 3 sets of 10 reps and you can do this with or without bands or even use different types of bands to adjust the difficulty for this workout. Remember to squeeze your glutes at the top. Alright, on to the next workout, our donkey kicks. We are doing 3 sets of 10 reps. So this workout is one of my favourite leg workouts especially when I'm feeling a little lazy. I like to do this with bands because I feel it's more effective and makes your legs ache even more. However, if you do it without bands, it's completely okay too. Just increase the number of reps you're doing. Make sure your hips are squared when you're doing this. Okay, we're almost done. So we're gonna do another one of my favourite lazy leg exercise that is still effective, the glute bridge. So we are doing 3 sets of 10 reps here. There are different progressions for this one and the most simple one would be to do it lying down and pushing your hips up. To make it more difficult, place your feet on a chair or stool and do your glute bridge. Go all the way up and squeeze your glutes at the top. This squeeze is very very important, okay? The last progression would be to open up your knees at the top with a bend. Okay, we are down to our last exercise. Our all-time favourite, one minute plank. We're almost there guys, don't give up. Keep your butts up, I'm strong, I'm strong and we will get through this one minute together. Phew! And we're done! Okay guys, we're done with our workout for today and I hope you feel as worked out as I feel. Don't let staying at home and the space constraint limit you because you can use many things to make your workout just as effective. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow Asia One for more interesting content. If there are any other workouts you would like me to try, please leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!